Well, greetings, folks. Your friendly neighborhood Rick Disgate here on World Views. As much as I don't really care for the term, it has sort of um, forced my hand into uh, contemplating more, looking more into what my worldview is. Since atheism is but a small portion of it, it is not the all encompassing of the whole that so many or some theists believe that atheism is. So, Mr. Woodpecker. So, with that in mind, I started digging around a bit into things, looking into uh, different ideas out there. I've always heard of this, um, humanism. So I took a, uh, a bigger um, leap into it and looking into it. And uh, I find that a lot of what it aspires to, a lot of what it finds integral to life resonates with me. So if I were to adopt a label for a worldview, I guess, loosely put, it would be humanist. There are some issues I see here and there with that. But, so, I like language. I think it's a, uh, an organic thing. So, I would consider myself humanish. Now consider this just a quick little intro video might do a series of walk and talks going over the <laughs> sinister astounding humanist manifesto number three or humanism and its aspirations <clears throat> I think that might be interesting um, just talk about how it resonates with me and how I uh, my perspective on life the universe and everything and what parts I have issues with so with that in mind, um, hopefully you'll come out with a, a first part pretty soon here on uh, humanism and its aspirations and on being humanish. So until then, we'll talk to you later folks. Salut.